Hey guys, what's going on? It's DJ TLM, The Last Mohican. You're watching DJ TLM TV. And in today's video, I'm going to show you a quick trick that can save your life. Well, at least it can save your set. Now imagine this scenario. You're at a club, you're about to do your set, and you find out that one of the turntables isn't working. Or if you use CDJs, one of the CDJs isn't working. They don't have backup, so you're left with one working deck. Now, of course, if you have a contract and the contract says that they have to deliver working equipment, you can say, hey, breach a contract, pay me and leave. But come on, if I'm at a club and I know that there's even a portion of that crowd is there for me, I want to deliver. So with this trick, you can still play. And I've done this live. The longest I've done is play a two hour set with one turntable. So I know that this works. You have to do a couple of things in Serato and I'm going to show you right now. First of all, you go into the setup menu and you make sure at the playback tab right here, instant doubles is activated. Now this is essential. This has to be activated for this to work. I already have it activated. Now I have one working deck. This turntable is working and for now we're going to say that this turntable is not working. I'm going to, I'm going to turn it off. We're not going to use that. So deck number one, my virtual deck, is gonna change from relative mode, I'm gonna put it on internal mode because we're not using the control vinyl and the turntable. All right, what you want to do is you wanna press play on that internal deck. I'm not using this song right now, but it has to be on play. Now the instant doubles is what makes this trick work and I'll show you right now. I'm gonna be loading songs from my working turntable from this side, so I'm gonna load songs into virtual deck number two and play them with my turntable once I have them playing or mixed in the right way I'm gonna switch that song to my virtual deck number one which is playing on internal mode check this out I'm gonna start a song right here let me go straight to the beat all right we have a beat right here what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna load this song into deck number one and as you can see, if you look at the wave files, it's playing at the exact same position. So I can move my cross trader now. There it is, playing at the same spot. People won't even know that one deck is on internal and one deck is on normal vinyl. So I have that song playing. Let me just grab one more song, do a quick mix. So the first song is playing on the internal deck, the second one is on my turntable, let's switch it. I just mixed it in from the turntable, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to load the new song into my virtual deck. Once again, it's playing from the exact same spot. so. I can switch my cross fader again, and now you're hearing the internal deck. The crowd can't tell the difference. So let me grab one more. Once again, on the turntable. I'm not using my pitch because I just picked three tracks with the same BPM. Right. Mix it in from the turntable, once again, load it into the virtual deck that's on internal mode. Boom. Now you can keep doing that for hours. So it's real simple. You start from your working turntable. As soon as you've mixed it in, thrown it in, whatever, you load it into the internal mode deck. It will be playing from the same spot because that's what instant doubles does. And once it's playing on the internal deck, you just move your crossfader to that side and you can grab a new track and mix it in. That's all. This can save your life if you want to do your set and you have only one deck that's working. Now, if you have any questions, if you want to see more tricks like this, 
leave a comment in the comment section click like if you like the video subscribe to the channel check djtlmtv.com and i'll be back very soon peace out